hear me? What it is, YouTube, I am heading out to a bridge called the Regency Bridge in uh, San Saba County. Really cool place. The only thing is I was waiting for like a sunset shot because I knew that there was gonna be some clouds rolling in however I forgot that not only is there going to be clouds rolling in but also the temperature is dropping from like 75 to about 20 degrees so I'm pretty excited though to go out here because I haven't actually t like gotten any photography uh, of this bridge before so hopefully I can get some really good stuff <laughs> I've got my ridiculous beanie on, but it is keeping me warm. The cold front just blew through. There's a little break in the wind, so I thought I would go ahead and just kind of talk. This behind me is the Regency Bridge. Now, of course, from this angle, it doesn't really look too exciting, uh, but I am going to find that exciting angle, and I'm gonna capture it. So this is a shot that I really like. I love looking down the side of the bridge. Uh, as you can see, it's really, really nice looking, uh, just to kind of see the uniformity of all the posts and the cables and all the wires and stuff it looks really good so I'm gonna try to get a couple shots with that I'm gonna switch out uh, from my 18 to 55 to my 75 to 300 uh, and we're gonna kind of get some different types of shots and that's just so that wind is crazy now something else that I really enjoy in my photography is depth of field uh, we got some leaves on trees that have changed color so I think I'm gonna try to get those in the foreground and then the uh, bridge in the background which I think will look really cool <laughs> Thanks to this hill behind me, where I'm standing right now is actually, there's like no wind, so it's like perfect. <sighs> I feel so good to be out of it. I get to take this off. But anyway, so right here where I'm at, I actually see some opportunities for a little bit more shots uh, that I think are gonna look really good. One of them is just, as you can see, like looking up the hill at the bridge and stuff, you can see these cables going uh, alongside. Pretty cool looking. I'm gonna try to get some good shots, see what I can do with these cables, see if I can get anything good. Uh, so yeah, the wheel is spinning, the wheel is spinning. Look how cool this looks. Just gotta make sure I don't fall off this little edge I'm on. Look at this. You would never know this is in Brownwood. Like seriously, this looks like something you'd see in Man vs. Wild. All right guys, I found a nice place to hunker down for the night. So I'm gonna stay here and in the morning, I'm gonna go out and eat the eyeballs of a camel. Hey girl, can't you see? That's what I do whenever I'm out and I'm getting photography is I, I, I go and I climb up things, I climb down things, I get down on my knee, I you know I get to places where people don't see that unless they climb or I just uh, kind of just move around, get to different angles and hike somewhere and get to a different location and get down and climb up and do things like that. That way I can find the best looking shot. All right guys, well, for right now, I'm gonna sit in my car, wait for the sun to go down, because these clouds are fantastic. Uh, if you can even see them. But I know it's gonna make for a good sunset shot. There's the sun setting right now, so hopefully we can get something cool looking. Uh, but right now I'm just really cold. I'm gonna warm up a little bit. It's weird, I drove out here as 81 degrees and it's now in the 40s. And I know a lot of people are like, wow, the 40s would be pretty warm where I live. Yeah, I live in Texas, we're not used to it. That's why I'm wearing this ridiculous beanie. But I don't know, I think I look pretty cool. So anyway. <laughs> All 
Okay, so I'm finally back in my car. Uh, thankfully, that wind was ridiculous. At one point, the bridge was actually like swaying and moving. It was kind of, it was slight, but you could see it. Um, it, it was weird. I could like feel it, and I was like, why do I keep feeling like I'm like randomly falling like at times? Like it was weird. And then I noticed, oh, the whole bridge is moving. So last video that I did, I kind of took you through uh, my process. I didn't really take you through it as much as I did in this one, showing you, uh, you know, getting set up and everything. So for all those photos, I just kept my ISO at 100 because I don't like any noise, and I like to be able to mess with the other settings to where I can keep it at ISO 100. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to reiterate in this video, kind of like how I did last video, how you can get beautiful things no matter where you live. Uh, I just happen to know the suspension bridge is here. Not everybody does know it's here. Uh, if you drive down Highway 45 heading towards Richland Springs, uh, it's like halfway between Richland Springs and Brownwood, Texas, there is a uh, sign that'll say Regency Bridge. Take that. You're going to drive down a county road for like five minutes and you will see the Regency Bridge entrance. So anyway, before it starts snowing on me, I'm going to head home and go drink some hot chocolate and chill with my wife. Peace! Peace!